Hey everybody, it's Dina Rico with the Creativity Cave and look at this gorgeous card created with two stamp sets. I'm using the Arrange a Wreath stamp set, which I'm just pulling out right now to show you, as well as the Hollows Night Magic stamp set. And these two combined make a really fun Halloween card. So I've got some great tips and tricks for this card. So let me show you how I put this together. First, I'm going to start with my Stamparatus. I find that is really helpful for stamping this large wreath image. And I've got this positioned in here. I have cut a piece of the magic I think it's called magic in the night. I'd have to look the direction or the description of this video will have the correct <laughs> information, but I've got my piece of printed paper here and I'm just going to make sure that my wreath will be kind of centered on there. And then I will hold it in place with that magnet. And that looks great. Now I want to ink this up and a couple of tips for inking. First, if you take a stamp set or an ink pad, both will fit wonderfully under your Stamparatus, and then it's a little easier to stamp or ink this up. Also, on my sample, I used Memento Black to stamp this, and I'm going to try Stazon Black just to see if there's a big difference. Now, generally speaking, the difference between Memento Ink and Stazon Ink, and we can even look at them right side up, Memento Ink is a... Um, ink that is water-based. When you use it with like watercoloring, it will bleed, so you don't want to do that. It is not permanent, and it is great for using with Stampin' Blends, which are alcohol-based markers. So this is the preferred choice. This is also kind of the everyday black ink that I use most all of the time. On the other hand, stays on black ink is a permanent black ink. It's alcohol based, which is why you can't use it with alcohol markers because they'll just bleed. Um, it is, like I said, permanent, but it will also uh, work great um, for watercoloring and uh, it won't bleed when you use water with it. The other thing is it does stain your stamps and it doesn't dry or it dries actually really quickly. Um, so much so that sometimes that can actually be kind of a hindrance to using it. But it's definitely the, the ink of choice for um, watercoloring. Now here's the difference. This is like a really vibrant black, whereas this is kind of a dull black. This one is a little lighter. So let's stamp this um, and see what happens. And note, you can see my my stamp is not perfect, but when I use this black ink, it will be forever black. And that's okay. I'm, I don't mind that. Um, I don't mind if my stamps are stained because that means I'm getting good use out of them. They will still work with light colors just fine. Now the beauty of using the Stamparatus is, remember how I mentioned that sometimes this stamp or it dries really quickly if it dries too quick to get uh, a good inking and let's hold that in place Ugh. um then what i can do is um restamp this so i'm going to ink up my stamp once again actually i'm going to make sure i have this lined up because it did move and it is not lined up I should have put lined this up a little bit better. That looks pretty good. And you know what? If I mess it up, we'll just cut another piece of paper. It's just paper. It will be okay. I think that looks pretty good. All right. So I'm going to ink this up once again. Um, that was my fault for not keeping my paper in place a little bit better. Okay, we'll stamp that. Hopefully that stamped magically perfect. I think I did get it lined up. We'll see though. <laughs> Otherwise, I might be reshooting this video. You'll never know. And boom. Okay, not bad. Now here's what I note. That is a much more vivid stamping than this one and I like it so I'm going to go with this. 
All right, but note that my ink pad is, or my stamp is now black, and that black is probably gonna stay there, but that's, I'm okay with that. All right, now I'm gonna set this aside, and let's put the rest of this together. So the next step is I will take and adhere this to a layer of basic black cardstock. I'm going to use my stamp and seal to adhere this. I love stamp and seal. It's easy to work with, especially once you have one little tip figured out. And I'll show you what that is in just a moment. You want to make sure whenever you use this that you end kind of with the applicator pointing up like this. That keeps the, the adhesive at the very tip and uh, makes everything work really smoothly. Okay, so I've got that adhered. Now, I also want to do one more stamped image, and I want to stamp dare, if or open if you dare. <laughs> we'll do that in stays on once again. And we'll stamp this kind of in the corner. All right, so there we go. And I like that it's a nice crisp dark black, so that's great. I will then take and I have some uh, die cut bats. These are the dies that coordinate with the Hollows Night Magic stamp set. And I'm just going to adhere a few of these to my wreath. Okay, who knew a wreath of bats would be kind of cool, but it is. Now, I die cut these ahead of time using the black glitter paper. I love this stuff. It is amazing. And I'm going to pop this one up with a little mini dimensional in black. This is perfect for not really showing. And I'll just kind of pop those wings up a little bit on here like so and then um, I'm gonna take and add one more let's see that one's just a teeny bit bigger I think I'll add that one instead using a glue dot just because it's getting kind of small I could use my seal too that would work okay so we've got that on there like so now that looks really cute and I do like it but we're gonna take it up a notch. Part of this suite uh, are these iridescent pearls and I love them, they're so cool. So I thought we could take and add a few of these to the wreath and it makes, um, I think, the perfect addition for embellishing this wreath. Now to do that, I'm gonna use my take your pick tool. You're just gonna squeeze the putty end a little bit. I can see some is coming out, so I'm gonna release this so it doesn't ooze out like a toothpaste tube and I'm just going to scatter some of these pearls around my wreath and I love the look of this because it just adds kind of a spooky um pearlescenty iridescenty look to my to my wreath I'll just center this one back a little bit better <laughs> um so I'll just keep adding these around and I'm kind of varying where I'm putting them so they don't look all lined up and, and whatnot. And once I've got enough on there, um, and maybe I'll put another one right in here to complete my wreath. And isn't that just so cool? Now, I'll take this and I'm going to place this uh, onto a card base of basic gray. And for this, I am going to pop the whole panel up because I think it just makes it look a little bit nicer. Now this is clearly the kind of card you would probably send to an adult versus a child. It's kind of a fun card. Oh, but before I do that, I wanna do one more thing. I wanna do a little stamping on the inside. Now here's where I'm gonna switch back to my Memento Black ink. And the reason being that, um, actually, why don't I use my basic gray ink? for my bats and then I'll stamp happy Halloween right over the top in black and I think actually I will use um, my stays on okay so there we go now my stays on is gonna be a little darker and like I said I'll do happy Halloween now both of these stamps this the bats and the happy Halloween also come from that hollows night magic I'll add that right over the top and we have a really, really fun inside to our card. All right, now the last step is we're gonna pop this up and add. 
We're going to add it to our card and I'm using my black dimensionals once again. I love that there's lot mini dimensionals and regular size dimensionals in the package of black and that is really helpful because I don't use them quite as much as my regular dimensionals but I like that both are included. All right, there we go. Look at that awesome card. I hope you loved this project. Now, if the, you would like to purchase any of the supplies that I used to create this card with, please shop my online store. I've got a full list of supplies linked in the description of this video so you can purchase any of them that you might like. I also have an truly amazing class with the Arrange a Wreath bundle coming up this week. It is amazing. I'm just... I can't tell you how much I love the projects. <laughs> so if you are interested in this class, I will also put a link to that in the description of this video. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I've got a little graphic right here, a little box that if you click on, you can subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my awesome videos in the future. Thank you guys so much for stamping with me today. I hope you have a great day and I hope you love my card. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.